But uh, we're going to move on to this next part here, which is kind of in common with that. At a massive rally of an estimated 100,000 people, Trump hinted at one candidate who could become his VP on a short list. Here's Fox News correspondent Madeline Rivera. Former President Trump is bullish about his prospects in New Jersey, even though it's not. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a girl, Vermo. I'm back with another reaction video. Oh my goodness, today we are reacting to Fox News and we have Get Ready. Trump eats at one candidate that could become his VP from shortlist. Okay guys, we're about to get into this one, but before we get started, we have some amazing people watching us for the first time. If you're new to the channel, hello, I'm Vera. I do reaction videos. If there's something that you love, why not join Vera CT? Hit the subscribe button below, turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. And that's guys, let's go guys. Considered a battleground state, his team is pointing to the crowd of people who gathered in Wildwood Saturday as a sign of his momentum in the Garden State. Wildwood's proximity to Philadelphia, only about 90 minutes away, also allowed the campaign to reach voters in what is considered a key swing state, Pennsylvania. North Dakota governor and former GOP presidential candidate Doug Burgum spoke before Trump took the stage, raising speculation that he could be on Trump's VP shortlist. Doug Burgum and Catherine, who's been, it's just an incredible couple. And uh, you won't you won't find anybody better than uh, this gentleman in terms of his knowledge of, you know, he made his money in technology, but he probably knows more about energy than anybody I know. So get ready for something, okay? Just get ready. But Doug Burgum has been incredible, and uh, the country's lucky to have him. It's unclear what Trump is alluding wow. to when he told the crowd to get ready. Oh, my gosh. Guys, did you see the way he introduced him? Did you see the way Trump introduced Bug? Like... Just so awesome. Let's go. A campaign spokesperson telling Fox and Friends this when it comes to the former president's pick for our running mate. The Republican National Convention is coming up soon, right? In a couple of months in July, I think uh, President Trump has said that he will make his decision later this summer. And in true President Trump fashion, he will go directly to the American people to do that. Governor Burgum was with us last night. He introduced the president. He's been a fantastic governor for his state. There's a lot of great options on the table. What I will say is that any one of them will be much better than Kamala Harris. That is for sure. Trump claims Nikki Haley isn't among those options, though. The former president dismissed the chances of a Trump-Haley ticket on Truth Social over the weekend. Joey. Thank you. Conch, you were there last yeah. night. Bergram came. He spoke, I think he said, for about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Was he received like a vice presidential candidate? Absolutely. Because he's seen as a successful businessman, just like Donald Trump, and there's no baggage there, and he has a great approval rating in North Dakota. Overall, it was amazing to see 100,000 people, according to the city of Wildwood, at this rally, and all of them congregated, and no one rioted, and no one looted, <laughs> and there wasn't any anti-Semitism yeah. in the air. It was a happy environment, whether we're talking about the crowd, whether we're talking about Donald Trump, who relished the moment, that's certainly for sure. Lisa, when you look at Doug Burgum, I was really impressed with him in the debates. I don't know that he won the debates, but he probably won the most ground in the debates, maybe because most of us didn't know who he was. But Trump talked about how he's, he's an energy guy. Do you think this is a VP thing or maybe just an energy, just kind of piggybacking on Biden's weaknesses? Look, Trump's going to pick who Trump wants to pick, right? Sure. But Look, Trump is such a force of nature on his own. I don't think he needs a vice president who's getting headlines and who's drawing attention, you know, that way. I Great think point. that having someone who's just steady, you know, steady the core, someone that can win over maybe more moderate voters. Um, I, so I, I think but in that instance, uh, Doug Burgum could be a good pick because he is just steady. He's not inflammatory. He doesn't really you know, garner a lot of headlines. Uh, and, and I don't really think Trump needs someone who does. You know, Doctor, real quick, uh, when you look at those that were on that debate stage, Nikki Haley lasted the longest. It got pretty nasty there at the end. And then we hear this week maybe he, she's going to go on the list. Madeline right there said not on the list. Does Trump need Nikki Haley on his team to win? 
But does he need Nikki Haley on his team to win? No, but right now there is a battleground for Nikki Haley's supporters. I mean, I think it was just in Indiana. She did get 22% of the votes, even yeah. though she's already dropped out of the race. So there is a large amount of votes up for grab right now. We see President Biden trying really hard to get them. I think he put out an ad that specifically said, you know, Donald Trump doesn't want your vote if you voted for <laughs> Nikki Haley or if you support Nikki Haley. So, you know, I, I don't like that. But I do think Bergram would be a very good, good option for people who could potentially get some of Nikki Haley supporters because... Because, as Lisa pointed out, and you pointed out, he has a lot of innovative ideas, especially when it comes to energy, especially in his business mindset. Um, and, you know, he's setting himself up for a place in the administration. He's he's not going to run yeah. for a third term. And, you know, I think he'd be a good well, I'll member. Tell you. Can I just real, real quick, sorry, real, real quick. Uh, a lot of the haze being made about Nikki Haley, but when you look at Indiana, you look at New Hampshire, you look at South Carolina, we're talking about open primary or semi-primary states. So would those voters even vote for Nikki Haley? If she was on the ticket in 2024, we'll continue this discussion for weeks to come until we get a VP. (laughs) Oh my days, Bogum! What do you guys think? Do you think Bogum is going to be the VP or the Secretary of Energy? What do you guys think, Bogum? This is my first time hearing of Bogum. I hope I'm even pronouncing his name correctly. I really don't know much about him, but oh my goodness, I love how humble Trump is, and look at the way he introduced him, the way he spoke so highly of him, like the future president. Oh my god, like it is. I don't know, I don't know. How do you guys feel? What do you guys think about this video? Drop a comment down below. I totally enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, give it a huge thumbs up and please share this video. If you're new to the channel, join Vera CC. Hit the subscribe button below, turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. And that's guys, see you in my next one. Bye.